Good morning and welcome to Friday, January 3rd, 2020. And today's devotion is titled, Prophecies Against the Shepherds of Israel. And we'll be reading out of Ezekiel 34, verse 2. And it reads, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds, Woe be to the shepherds of Israel that do feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the flocks? The reference to shepherds here is not the same as the New Testament reference to shepherds. Here, shepherd refers to the rulers over Israel. At this time, the rulers of Israel had become self-indulgent, self-centered, and no longer cared what happened to those under their care. Behavior like this often appears in our society today in our elected officials, but we won't discuss that here. What happens to a society when God is not a priority, when he is not recognized as the ultimate ruler and judge, and his laws and his principles, which are just and good, are disregarded? At first, the change comes subtly and slowly, and then as the society deteriorates, it is easier and faster to make leaps away from God. Think about our own country. The 60s saw a dramatic increase in drug use and increased rebellion. Every decade since seems to have had some immoral behavior that at one time was not even talked about in private. Today, these things are openly promoted as being normal. Each decade of sin has brought this country to new depths of degradation. I pray that God will have mercy on America and he will send re revival to his people before we cross the line of no return. And our final word comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 6 and 7. It says, We must seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You know, it's funny, every generation, and I've heard so many people of different age groups say, my generation, this generation, is as bad as it can get. I'm sure the older people in the 60s were saying, look at these kids today. This is as bad as it can get. Society cannot drop any lower. And then guess what happened? The 70s appeared, and it got even worse. And that generation, the older generation, were saying, look at those kids out there. They are just out of control. Society cannot get any worse than it is today. And then what happened? The 80s came. Same thing. The 90s, same thing. 2000s. You see the, the progressive cycle here? Every decade, the older generation looks and says, wow, this is as bad as it's going to get. It cannot get any worse. But we are at a level so, so low, I can't even fathom what the next generation is going to be. I can't even imagine what kind of corruptness and evil is going to be in the world. That's a scary, scary proposition. That's not even fun to think about because it's already so evil today. But they were dealing with the same thing back in Israel. So it's just funny how Israel is a great representation of America today. We're following in the same footsteps that the Israelites made. And it all came from rejecting the Lord. The more society turns away from God, the more they fall into degradation. And it just gets worse and worse from there. So I hope and pray that it's not too late for America to recover. But it just seems like every generation takes further and further steps away from God. So I just pray that, that you do your part and, and pray. Prayer is the most powerful weapon you, me, we all have. Pray for our, our society. Pray for our country. Pray for the youth. They're being guided along by whom? People who didn't have a good Christian background themselves. So what hope does that generation have of having good Christian leadership in the house, in school, out in public? It's a tough challenge for them. But it's time that we, at our generation, reverse course. 
get back on track and be the right example for the following generation to see and look up to because we are the role models for the generation behind us. So I'll end our devotion with that. I just want you to think about that today. Think about what kind of a role model are you for the generation behind us? Because if they don't have you to look up to, who do they have? And there's a lot more evil out there that's more than willing to be their role model. So we need to step up as Christians. We need to provide proper leadership and good example for the youth of today. So with that, I, I bid you farewell. Have a great rest of your day. God bless, and we'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.